Hi, welcome to this tutorial today. What I'm going to show you how to do is spawn uh, grass for foliage based on a texture instead of using the foliage tool. And the reason you'd want to do this is you can have a lot more grass, you can have a lot more foliage because they don't use collision and they're more optimized. So um, this is how games like Forspoken or uh, Far Cry, they spawn grass across their landscape and it looks even and consistent and it's performant. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. Okay, so um, one caveat is there can be no collision on these, so use it for grass, bushes, etc., but don't use it for trees or big rocks, okay? So with that said, let's go ahead and get into it. If you want to see an example of what it looks like, just skip to like the end of the video. You'll be able to see on the YouTube slider when I start showing it, and then just come back. Okay, so you'll need a landscape. I just created a generic based one. Um, go into landscape, manage, new, and then just created it. Okay, so um, with that said, the first thing we need to do is we need to create a landscape material. If you already have a landscape material, just skip ahead until I start working on the layers. So if you don't have a landscape material, go ahead and material. We'll call this AM, M, grass, landscape. You can name it whatever you want. Okay, and then what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to use basic colors for this. Um, so I'm going to use green and red because I don't have any textures, but if you want to use textures, you would just use that. Um, so the first thing we need is a layer, a landscape layer blend, okay? If you already have a landscape layer, you probably have this already. But I'm going to go ahead and plug this into base color. And then you go over to the details panel when you click on it. So make sure you click on it. Go over to the details panel, click on layers and hit the plus, okay? And we'll call this grass, all right? And then we'll make another one and we'll call this uh, Dirt. Uh, I guess that works. Okay, now you'll probably have normal maps and metallic and base color and all that. I'm just using basic colors for the tutorial example. Um, so I'm going to hit three on my keyboard and make a color. I'll make this green. There we go. We'll make it a darker green. And then for the dirt, I'll make it brown. Now I'm only going to spawn the grass on the green. Okay. Um, and I've imported a grass model from a pack. Um, it's called Realistic Foliage, I think, but you can use any pack you want or any grass model you want. Okay, so we have the landscape layer set up. That's perfect. Now, um, what we need to do is we need to go to the landscape, and we need to go to Paint. Okay, we don't have any layers, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a new map, and I believe this will reset it. Actually, I'm sorry. I did something wrong. You want to click the landscape and assign your material to it. M landscape grass is what I called it. I believe. Let me go check. Grass landscape. Grass landscape. There we go. And we should have. Yep, there it is. Okay. So once you have your landscape layers, if you're not familiar familiar with landscape painting, basically you just click this little plus create layer info. Do weight blended layer. Put that under material and just leave the name, or put that under wherever you want to store it, and just leave the name the same, okay? And then we're going to do the same for the dirt. There we go. So now the entire thing is grass. I'm going to paint some dirt here, just so we have an example. There we go. So all everywhere the green is where the grass will spawn, and there won't be spawned any here. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to get our grass model and create a grass type asset. So we'll go to right click and go to foliage, we'll do landscape grass type. Okay, and remember, this only works on landscape. If you're gonna use static meshes, you need to use the foliage painter. So we'll call this um, GSM for grass map. That's the technical name is grass maps. Um, and then we're gonna call this uh, grass one. Let's we'll call it grass one, that's what the model's called. So we'll open this up and we'll go to index grass one. Let me make sure grass map example is the right one. Okay, now in this, you have some uh, settings similar to Foliage Painter. So you have grass density, um, 400 is the default. That's a pretty good one. With this, remember, with this, you can spawn a lot more than the Foliage Painter for less performance. Hit. Um, you can set up cold distances, etc. You probably know what most of these mean. Um, I like to turn off receives decals. We can leave that on if you want. Uh, and then the other thing, the final thing we need is if you are using um, 
world position offset and nanite. Nanite does not work well with moving shaders. Um, however, if you have it close to the camera, it should be fine. But whenever a tree or grass or something gets far, you want to go down to this instance world position offset disabled distance and set that to something like 5,000. So what that means is whenever a grass gets further away from the camera by 5,000 units, I don't, I'm not entirely sure how Unreal calculates units, but 5,000 units, um, the world position offset on the material will be disabled. This will create a big performance boost for Nanite and probably even normal meshes. So keep that on, um, and then enable density scaling, keep that on so when you go into settings and you, when a player goes into settings and they change foliage, it'll affect this. Okay, so we have our grass, and then the final thing we need to do is we just need to go into M grass landscape. We need to go down here, and we'll right click and we'll type landscape grass output. Okay, and then we're going to do layer, landscape layer sample. We'll call this grass. And this is very important, but you want to name it the same as this. So it's called grass, and we'll just, I'll just copy paste that to make sure it's right. And then I will do this. All right, we'll go, we'll click on the landscape grass output. We will go down here and we'll type in, or it'll already be there, GSM grass one. Now whenever I click apply, land, uh, all the grass will be on the landscape. So we wait, there it is. Now we've got grass, and if you want to just uh, delete some, just paint with the other textures that don't use it. And yeah, um, as you can see, it's culling because there's a lot. But yeah, and it's pretty performant. We've got uh, 64 FPS. If we take this off, you, if you want to disable it, just take that off. Um, we've got about 74. So it's about a 5 or 10 with this much. And you can adjust it with the spawning right here. Um, I'm just going to leave it at 400. One thing to keep in mind, too, is whenever you have um, static lighting, you need in 5.3, and I don't know about the other ones, but I know in 5.3, before you build lighting, take this off. Otherwise, it'll like lock up the editor because it's going to try to bake lighting for like five million blades of grass. So just disable this first, turn it off, bake your lighting, and then go back and disable it or enable it again. Hopefully Epic fixes that in future versions, but uh, I don't know if they have a fix coming in. Yeah, now you've got grass everywhere. So, And you can do this with as many foliage types as you want. If you want to add more, you can add as many as you want, um, and then just add them in here. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button. If it helped you out, uh, share it with a friend. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.